My brother, what is going on? In this video today, I want to give you one of the most powerful lessons that I know is going to change your life. This video is going to be very simple. It's going to be very actionable. And it's going to be something that you can start implementing in your life today that will serve you for the rest of your life. And I really mean that. On my self-development journey when I first began, it was like this constant up and down. Up, down, up, down, right? There would be days where I would go hard and I'd be crushing it, I'd be waking up early, I'd be going to the gym, meditating, working out, all of this stuff. And then I would, there would be one thing that would happen and I'd go crashing down again. And what you need to realize, guys, is that you as a human, right, we have a lot of things that happen outside of our control that we're not necessarily aware of. Like a prime example of this, you know, when I'm coaching people is this, right? They'll be like, all right, you know, in the morning I crush it, in the, in the, in the, like the morning, throughout the morning I'm doing well, but in the afternoon I slip into bad habits, I'm not as focused, etc., etc. It goes to prove that we're in autopilot, guys, right? We go back to these old patterns from past experiences, past beliefs that we have, and basically the subconscious mind takes over, right? As humans, yeah, we are operating from autopilot. So it's, you know, again, you say, like, if I was to ask you on a logical level right now, do you want to stop doing these behaviors and these habits that improve your life, make you feel more confident, make you feel better about yourself? Definitely not, right? So why do we do it? Well, doesn't matter about the answer. The point of the matter is we do things without our awareness, right, that sabotage us in a way. And what I learned is that the human brain, it always wants to take the pathway of least resistance and it always wants to take the easiest path. So on those days where you're getting tested, all right, and things are going against you, what's going to happen is everything's going to seem harder. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Like, you, you're, you're just feeling tested one day. The, the world is going against you. And it's like the thought of meditating is like, fuck that, bro. The thought of working out is like, fuck that. The thought of... Um, you know, go into the gym, fuck that, right? The thought of reading a book, fuck that. You just want to do anything but progress. Why? Because like I said, the brain wants to take the easiest path. Now, the way you trick your brain in overcoming this is by moving the mental resistance that you experience. That is the key. All it is, guys, is you have mental resistance towards these actions. So I'll give you an example. And the reason I'm making this video, last night, I get a migraine. Out of nowhere, I get this huge fucking migraine. So I wake up today after getting a good night's sleep and it was still there, bro. Like migraine, my fucking body's aching, my back's aching, I'm just not feeling good, right? I'm recharging, if you will. And I'm still recharging right now, bro. You can see I'm looking pretty tired, but the point is I didn't feel my higher self, straight up. The thought of me then having to work out, the thought of me having to study, the thought of me having to meditate, the thought of me having to uh, work on my business, all of these were like, fuck, bro. Like, I just didn't want to do it, all right? Now, how I've been ab able to bypass this and overcome this, guys, is I tell myself, hey, bro, I'm just going to do 10 minutes minimum. That's it. I'm just going to do 10 minutes minimum. And what this does is you will realize, even on the bad days, you say, I'm just, just going to do 10 minutes minimum you will bypass that mental resistance, right? And you will end up doing more. It's as simple as that. Because I know for myself, right? If I was to say, oh, I'm not gonna do anything today, right? Then tomorrow it'll be easier to not do it again. But because I just stick to these daily fucking habits, day in, day out, regardless of what is going on, it's even on the days like today where I'm not feeling as motivated or disciplined, I still do those baseline disciplines and it, builds consistency guys this is the ultimate key we are building consistency over the intensity and if you can apply this into your life guys and you just adopt this one mindset of i'm going to be consistent and i'm going to do this every day even if it's a small amount over time and repetition what will happen is it will become habitual once the habit is established then it can be improved upon and really guys that is how you stay disciplined and motivated on the days where you don't feel like it so there's you know there's the five habits i recommend you guys apply into your life as well
Because again, I can tell you this stuff, but you're still going to be questioning, but what do I do? Like I mentioned, one is wake up 6 a.m. or earlier every day. Two is meditation. Three is working out. Four is studying. And five is some action working on your business. These are the five habits I recommend you guys do. And like I said, 10 minutes minimum of each one of them. Just the 10 minute standard and build up over that over time. Then you'll get to the point like myself where it becomes who you are, bro. And like I said, guys, it's like your life becomes so much better. I can't explain it any other way because you just have these habits, right? Habits are just automated behaviors, automatic things that you do. And let me ask you, bro, when you wake up early, do you feel good about yourself? Yes. When you meditate, do you feel better about yourself? Yes. When you study some kind of material that helps you elevate in a skill set or your mindset, do you feel better? Yes. When you work out, do you feel better? Yes. When you work on your business or do some actions that make you more money, do you feel better about yourself? Yes. So once you make these habitual, bro, your life becomes just so much better. Now, I want to add on this as well. We've spoken on this video so far about habits and building good positive habits but i need to add on as well guys the vital importance of it's not just about what you do it's about what you don't do yeah because you can do these habits and i and here's the reality guys i'm going to say this to you regardless even if you still have bad habits still get these good habits done like the one the five i just mentioned but if you have bad habits like scrolling social media right or eating junk food or whatever whatever the bad habit is smoking weed they are going to have such a negative impact on you they're almost going to override the positive habits that you have right because it, it holds so much energy right i'm not going to go into too much detail here about how to break bad habits i'm actually going to make a video on that i just had an idea for that now but really guys what i also have found when you make room for the greater, the lesser goes away. So once you're doing these 10 minutes minimum of these, these habits I mentioned, like let's say reading, for example, once you read for 10 minutes, yeah, and you start to link pleasure to that and you start to really fucking enjoy reading and you, you realize that, bro, this brings me more joy than scrolling Instagram or watching YouTube videos, naturally the lesser will go away, Right. The same is with eating clean, for example. Once you get to the point in your life, yeah, where you get more pleasure from eating healthy foods and eating foods that fuel you and grow and build your physique, you don't want to do the bad behavior anymore. You don't want to eat the junk food. I can't explain it any other way, guys. Once you start to, you know, if I just break it down like this, right, humans move away from pain and they move towards pleasure. So one thing I've done in my life, yeah, because I see this all the time. People will, for example, they'll be like, oh, I need to, I need to break this habit, yeah? I need to stop this habit or I, I, need, to, I need to go on a diet, let's say, for example. Or I, I need to do this thing, whatever it might be. Let's just stick with a diet, for example. And I'm here like, bro, I don't even crave junk food. Or like, there's, there's no part of me that goes, oh, bro, I just want to go and eat at McDonald's, man. Never, bro. Never, because... I've linked into my brain, I've attached so much pain to that thing, right? That I'm just like, why would I do that? And I know this is a crazy example, but it's like, would you eat dog shit off the floor? No. Why? Because you know that it's disgusting, it's just, it's fucking weird, et cetera, et cetera. But why would you eat McDonald's then, my bro? For example, why would you eat foods that knock your confidence? Why would you eat foods that stop you from getting fucking jacked? It doesn't make sense, bro. It's just because you've built and developed habits, right? And these fucking subconscious programs towards these things. So what I done, right? Because I'm a fucking G, like I said in my last video, I trained my mind and I reprogrammed it to be aligned with what I want. Now I can get into this actually, guys. Conscious versus subconscious mind. If you align your conscious mind with your subconscious mind, your life will flow. What most people are doing when they live life, they're driving their car with a foot on their brake. 
So they're like, oh, I want to get in shape, right? I want to, I, I'm going to go on this diet. So they're like driving towards their physique goals, but their foot's on the brake because they're resisting. They're like, oh man, but I want to eat that pizza. Oh, I want to eat this or I want to eat that. Bro, I'm just like, I only eat clean foods because it's in my subconscious, right? I'm not going to go into too much detail on that right now. That's for another video as well. But guys, this video was simple. It was short. How to be motivated, how to be disciplined, even on the bad days. Remember, consistency beats intensity, okay? Consistency beats intensity. Stick to the fucking plan. Stick to your word, especially when you don't feel like it, all right? I've still got a few of my habits I need to do this evening. It's half past seven right now, all right? And I'm feeling like I just want to go to sleep. But I'm saying to myself, I'll just do the 10 minutes. I'm going to read, I'm going to meditate, then I'm going to go to bed. So again, it's a win. And I know for a fact, my guys, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I know who I am, yeah? I love to fight. This is another thing as well. The more you progress on your journey, the more you get to know yourself. I know for me, bro, I love to go hard in the fucking gym. I love to meditate for a long time. I love to do the work. I love reading. I love doing these things. I love waking up early. It's who I am. So on the days where I'm not feeling it 100%, I know that it's not me getting in my own way. I know I'm not sabotaging, bro. You see what I'm saying? I know who the fuck I am. This is something as well I recommend a lot of you guys. Well, I can't even recommend it. It's something you'll, you'll get to more as you go on your journey. You'll get to know yourself more, right? You get to understand more about who you are, what you believe in, what you value. But I know who the fuck I am. I know I go hard and I want to go hard. So on the days where I'm feeling resistance towards it, I don't need to fucking push myself and force myself there. I'm allowed to sometimes take it a bit steady, bro. And I believe as well, when you do that, when you recharge, you come back stronger. You know, you appreciate going harder more. So guys, I, I pray you found this video valuable. It was a short one today, but nonetheless, a powerful message within. And um, guys, go and follow me on Instagram at John Gab. If you want to level up and transform your life, my guys, you've got to join the number one brotherhood in the fucking world. Guys, this community is different, right? We've got over 100 brothers in here at the moment. It's application only. There's only a high level of brothers we're in who are committed and truly want to win, guys. The calls that we have, look, we have 100 people in there. We get about 50% show rate to our calls, right? Because the community's engaged, bro. People fucking love it. We're talking all things fitness, business, and mindset. Look, you're a young man. You want to level up in life, right? This is the community you need to fucking join. So go to brotherhood.co, apply. You'll be speaking with me personally, right? We'll speak over WhatsApp. I'll see if you're a good fit. We'll go from there, all right? Guys, God bless. No slacking.